finally, after 81 years, we have arrived with a bunch of confessions to be answered. So, for context, we asked you to send us your twisted related confessions to our Instagram and or my Tumblr, and I have to say I'm a little surprised with the amount we have garnered in our inbox, so it's more than confirmed that we will be making a continuation of this. Again, if you read and followed the rules, sent in a confession, but still didn't see yours appear here, know that it most definitely will appear in the next video. With that said, a humble confessionary is now open. Let's get to the first confession. I was fearful of the people under the Bonifier dorm, since I'm scared of beautiful people, due to them being mean or shallow to me in my life. But since their chapter came out I adore them, and now they are my favorite dorm. Bill was the one I was mostly scared of, but now I love him. Funny how when this happened, a week later his Halloween costume dropped, making me adore him that much more. I understand that that type of people can be a little intimidating, but at the end of the day, they are human too. Just like us, the ugly people, the potatoes, the peasants. Well the joke's on Bill, cause I love all potatoes. All three of them, baked, fried, and pureed. So there's nothing to fear, he is kind. Just wanted to let y'all know, that I appreciate your videos a lot. You're all amazing, keep doing what you're doing, I love you. Mindy! I gotta go, I believe in you guys. Thanks Mindy! I love Ezel so much, that one night I was thinking of him, and my heart started beating so fast, that I almost fainted. If that doesn't show how much I would die for that octopus, I don't know what would. First of all, are you okay? Because if you end up on the ER because of this, I can only imagine what you are gonna tell the doctor. So the patient just passed out? Yes, it was very sudden, they just fell to the floor out of nowhere. I don't understand, what could have possibly caused such a sudden reaction? Was it a heat stroke? They look pretty red faced to me, almost like you when you're angry, El Mayo. Alright, I'm going to ignore that last part, for now, because it's supposedly love for Ezalash and Grodo. Wait, really? Oh no, this is far more serious than I thought. We must amputate. Wait, what? Let's go. No time to lose. Wait, no, <laughs> stop right now. While I'm worried about your well-being, I also have to agree with you. Gosh, is he or is he not the most wonderful octoboy that has ever existed in the ocean? Sebek is criminally underrated. He's such a good boy. Please give him love. He deserves all of it. I testify, because I used to be one of those people that underestimated him, but I have come to appreciate him with time. And I'm sure more people will do the same. You are not alone. He he who oh, I have sinned I don't know like at least one time. This have been going through my mind. Can I crack IG like a glow stick? Like if you were to break his bounds, he leak out the glow goo. Same with his brother, but more as a lightsaber. Now I'm imagining someone just freaking swinging ortho around Star Wars style. Why imagine that when you can just I have pulled multiple times of Octavinel pickups and guaranteed gatches, and Ezel still hasn't come home. Not even a single Octavinel Mithurfucker has come home. Please, I'm on my hands and knees, I'm begging, please come home please, I'm an Octavinel simp. Oh no, I relate to this so badly. Call it gacha sympathy if you will. Gacha is cruel, no matter the game, I guess. What is wrong with you? This person here needs you and you are just standing there, being tall? Dishonor. Jade sexy. Nice. Straight to the point, direct, I like that. I love Ezel so much. I have cried over him multiple times. I love him so much. He is such a strong, smart, determined boy. I love him so much. I want to give him hugs and kisses, and I want to tell him he's beautiful. You go and tell him he's beautiful. Actually, take me with you. I want to sing him praises as well. What else to do on a Friday night? That would be better than sit that boy down and throw our love at him at the speed of light. Truthfully, this boy's qualities are undeniable, his plushie. 
I'm just going to leave this confession right here. Every time I have a dream guest starring a character from Twisted Wonderland, I have started hyperfixations on them. That is how I started liking Trey, Vil, and even Malia's. I might have a problem because I legit cried when I woke up from a dream where I was in a relationship with Malia's and it was soft and warm and I'm too touch starved for this. Ah, I wish I would have dreams like that one. Sounds like instant serotonin. I would cry too if I had woken up from a high quality dream like that one, Jesus. My confession is that, the first time I saw Twisted Wonderland's opening, I thought that it was fan made, and I didn't pay attention to it. I found out, when a video came out about it. I also thought I was having a fever dream, when I saw the sneak peeks of the characters. I saw so many people calling it Disney's Otome home game, and that Callum was Iago of all creatures, so I understand your confusion. In retrospective, that's the kind of thing that someone tells you when you were like, no, that could be true higher. Unless. Confession, to be honest, I'd love for Ro to teach me his crappy French. What do you mean crappy? I mean, it's not like I am an expert, but it is good that you want to nurture your brain with education, even if you consider it crappy. It's all about the experience that is Rook after all. And boy oh boy. Simply? Is he a one-of-a-kind experience, all right? I had a dream about Jamal back on Jack's birthday. Funny, because I simp for these two so hard. And it's also a coincidence that SSR birthday Jack's DUO magic is Jamal. In my dream, Jamal teased me for not knowing how to ride a bicycle. I got annoyed and retorted, hey, at least I'm practicing it. Jamal then gently gave me a headbutt, ruffling my hair as I am so soft for that gesture it's like his way of saying, you did well slash thanks for your hard work as Fjkla melts. That is all. That is the cutest I have imagined Jamil acting. That sounds so nice. Right. Look it almost made my heart beat after 800 years. Monumental. I just wanna gush on how beautiful Jamal is. He really embodies the meaning of his name HN and NGGG I can stare at him all day. If we stand next to each other, I'd look like his personal maid. Not that I don't mind, I can call him the Shu Jinsama as much as he wants me to. That power hungry guy would really enjoy that. The depravity of it all. So Tasty. So, that was surprisingly wholesome. I thought that we were going to be covered in dirt, but here we are, squeaky clean. You're all adorable. It's what I had in my mind while editing this video. We thought we were just going to answer to your confessions but we ended up joining you. What a community. We share the same brain cell, and that's great. Originally, this video was going to be way longer than this, but I saw that the main editor of this video looked more dead than usual. And I said, hey just, just cut it in half, you buffoon. We did not expect for this video to take so long to make, but I am sure that once we get used to it we will be able to make them longer, so please tell us in the comments if you are fine with this length for these videos or if you would like it if they were longer. Thank you for sending your confessions, and if you're interested in sending another, or your first, please remember to read the rules carefully. Then you can send it to us on Instagram via DM, or on my Tumblr by following the link in the description. If you don't have a Tumblr account, you can still send us your confession, but it will automatically be received as anonymous, so please have that in mind. With that said, it is time we take our leave, back to the light, until we are summoned again. Take care and wash your hands. Oh, and someone actually asked us to give them a shout out, so here you go, you cute shrimp. Alright, now that was all for today, for real this time, bye bye. Till we meet again.